Hello mga pops, kumusta? So after 5 years of using an XTC125, this is going to be a, a very long term review. 5 years and yung XTC125 na yun is ginagamit ko for like every worst possible scenario possible. Yung nakikita yung mga last video ko, probably this is a suggested video from the XTC125 trail video. Um, ilang beses na rin siya na modify. Um, the only thing that's not modified siguro sa um, XTC125 na yon is yung uh, makina. So, yung carburetor, almost napalitan ko yung carburetor. Um, but inside of the engine itself, hindi hindi nagalaw yon Now, final thought about it if it is something recommended or not well i have few reasons why um that machine that motorcycle is so far the best the most durable imagine nagamit ko na siya for um trail riding ilang beses ko nagamit sa trail riding yun ilang beses na rin bumagsak yung worst possible scenario na daan ng motor na yun so the thing here is that until now, survive, usable, wala pa rin siyang naging problema. I think the only issue with the engine is uh, may konting leak dun sa, um, sa gear, yung sa cambio niya. Yun lang yung issue nun. But when it comes to oil, sobrang lit lang yata ng leak. I think, I'm not sure kasi pag nag-change oil kami, uh, wala namang naging problema so so far um, everything is good nagagamit pa rin siya uh, except for yung mga fairings yung plastic fairings niya medyo mm, faded na um, I think kaya naman siya kung i-repaint nagagawa namang paraan and aside from that marami na rin mga napibili na plastic fairings ng XTZ125 magbukang bago ulit siya so far, then again, uh, within that five years until now, um, ilang beses na bumagsak yan sa trail riding. Um, ang daming worse na napagdadaan ng motorcycle na yan. But until now, hindi pa rin siya nagbibigay ng sakit sa ulo, hindi pa rin siya nagbibigay ng problema. One thing though is, yung, I think pagkagagawa sila ng bagong XTZ125, they got to do something about the um, chain, yung sa kadena niya. Kasi parang kulang yata ng walang ano, walang um, tawag doon, um, tensioner yata yung tawag doon para hindi ka mag adjust like quickly. Yan lang naman yung pinakaset ng ulo sa XTC125. Kailangan mong i-adjust yung um, kadena every week. Otherwise, magkakaroon ka ng problema kasi nga um, luluwag yung kadena and then pag-aayaan mo lang siyang masyado ng maluwag yung mangyari doon is uh, natatanggal siya and then aside from that is yung plastic fairings yata niya I think kasi yung mga Honda alam ko yung mga Honda hindi naman nagkakaroon ng problema when it comes to their you know uh, fairings plastic fairings na nag-fade pero um, so far, when it comes to malleability ba yun, um, hindi naman siya nag-break agad. Um, ilang beses itong mumbling yun sa mga trail rides namin. If you guys first see this video, um, you can go back to my oldest video like a year or two ago. Yun yung lagi kong ginagamit sa mga trail ride namin. Um, when it comes to power, just enough. Now, imagine if hindi mo siya aabusuhin ng ganun. Um, probably this, you know, machine is going to last for like a lifetime. Kung aalagaan mo siya ng maayos, hindi mo siya um, aabusuhin, baka mapamana mo pa to sa mga, ano, mga anak nyo, pati sa mga apo. So, sa mga nagbabalak bumili ng XTZ125, um, kung wala silang binago when it comes to the quality nung nabili ko, yung nabili ko no nung last 5 years ago na XTZ125 I think um, it's a good buy when it comes to power uh, enough it's not that powerful 125 lang naman siya. what do you expect from XTZ125 
Um, marami na rin ako na-improve doon, napalitan tulad nung um, gulong dati, and of course hindi ko na siya ginagamit, yung pang trail na gulong, and of course um, yung power throttle which is binalik ko naman sa original after nung mga panahong kailangan mo pa mag-trail kasi nga pandemic na mga panahong yun, di ba? Uh, pandemic, so hindi ka makakalabas ng hindi ka makapag out of town, contain ka lang sa isang, you know, sa isang community in case namin, sa barangay namin. So, you got to, you got to do something. You got to go somewhere. So, um, I hope you guys, I'm probably gonna create more videos about, you know, um, hindi na motorcycle pa rin, but it's not gonna be more of um, um, trail riding. Kasi, um, well, napaka dangerous ng hobby na yun, trail, trail riding. Um, ilang pesos ang bugs doon. Maswerte pa rin na until now. Um, wala naman nangyari. So, thankful ako sa part na yun. Um, sa ngayon, I think um, we're gonna go on like highway riding na lang muna. Like mga scooters, um, Mio, and then um, Click 125 from Honda. I think that's most probably we're going to talk about in the future. So, thanks for watching and uh, please go ahead and watch the other videos that I have and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.